Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my art channel. Um, today is Halloween day um, and uh, I'm working in my art gallery today um, and it's kind of a slow day so and I'm feeling creative so uh, instead of breaking out my fluid acrylics and making a huge mess in my gallery, I decided today is the perfect opportunity to play with some alcohol inks. I have never ever used these before, so I'm excited to give this a try. I got this exciter pack from Fluid Art Co. Um, and uh, it's got some really lovely colors in it. it. Even has like gold and copper and a pearl, a teal. I'm really excited to play with these colors. But um, I have some Yupo paper. I have a little blowing tool. I have some alcohol ink or some some 96% uh, uh, rubbing alcohol. And um, I have some, this little piggy pigments, but I think I need a binder for this. So I probably won't play with this today. This will be my next experiment. But um, I've been binge watching several YouTube channels, um, Art by Julie E, Just Janice, um, Lisa Marvin, uh, I've watched um, Brie. So there's all kinds of um, art channels out there that uh, people who do um, all kinds of different mixed media things and that kind of thing. And I've been watching all kinds of stuff. I've got lots of uh, inspiration from that. I have a couple of uh, specific projects that I want to work on that I think will be ideal for um, alcohol inks. Uh, but first I need to understand this medium. So um, I'll bring you down now so you can watch and um, as I play around and experiment and let's have some fun. Okay, so let's go through um, my supplies here. First off, uh, the rubbing alcohol. Um, I got this at the local pharmacy. It cost me about $2, and it does say on the bottle that it is 96%. So I think anything over 90% is good from what I understand. Um, I also have this little puffer that I got from Michael's. Don't remember how much it cost. I think it was around $20. Um, and then I, from my local art supply store, I got this uh, Legion brand Yupo paper. Um, it says medium. And honestly, the, the, I've never seen this before. The, the paper feels like plastic. It's really very smooth and very sturdy. Actually, I'm thinking this would make a great swiping tool. Haha. <laughs> but okay. So um, then for in the exciter pack of the alcohol inks, uh, it came with golden yellow and pink and coral. Ooh, that sounds nice. Coral. Um, and blue violet, so a, a nice purple color. This one is teal and this one is uh, white. Ah, interesting. They call it blanco blanco. Okay. Uh, this one is copper. I think these need to be stirred up, especially the metallics. And they do have little beads inside them, that's good. Okay, so this is copper, this is brass, not gold. Ooh, that's pretty though. Definitely looks like gold to me. We'll see how it works on the thing. And then this is pearl. And I've seen Julie E using this, so I'm excited to try that. And then I just have an extra, I bought this also at my art supply store. Um, I got, these were $3 a piece. Um, They've got a little tip on it. This one is the nine millimeter uh, opening. They have smaller sizes as well, uh, but it also that little tip comes off and I can get a really big um, opening. And uh, this little part just pops out and you fill it and then pop that back in. So I'll be playing with that. Um, yes, okay, and I have some, some paper towels so I can, if I make a mess, I can um, clean it up. So, okay, let's choose, I'm really excited about this coral color. So let's pick a color palette to go with coral. Maybe the teal, like a nice dark turquoise would go well with coral. We go with an under the sea theme. I definitely want to try this brass. And maybe one other color. Should we use yellow? Sure, why not? Let's do that. Okay. Let's move these out of the way. Maybe I'll add some of this pearl later too, but let's just start with these. So the first thing I'm going to do is put down, I'm gonna go with the darkest color first. Let's go with this teal first and see what happens. I'm just gonna put a little blob here 
Again, I don't have a real plan. I just want to play and see how this stuff moves. Oh, wow. Let's try three or four little spots. I think that's probably too much, but we're gonna try it. Look how that moves. Isn't that cool? Almost like watercolors. Okay, so let's put a little bit of alcohol here. And then we're gonna use our puffing tool. Ooh, that's fun, look at that. I'm just uh, pushing the, the pigment uh, in one direction here. I wanna see how it dries and how it layers. I think that's one of the most beautiful parts of what I've seen of alcohol inks. I love the way it dries in layers. You get so much beautiful transparency. That's almost dry already. Wow, that dried fast. Okay, that was cool. Now I know I can reanimate that. Yeah, that's pretty much dry. Okay, that was fun. I wonder if I can Put a little drop here. I wonder if I can extend that even further. Oh yeah, it reanimates a little bit, but it gets softer when it does that. So if I put another little dot of the ink here, just one small little dot. For a second there, I was worried I had the wrong color. Another dot there and a little more alcohol. Let's just blow that out this direction. I'm giving this, this uh, only kind of squeezing it halfway, kind of a gentle puff. I wanna bring that right out to the edge. Ooh, look at that depth and darkness. That's really pretty. Okay. That's a good start. I like it. Um, that was fun. Let's see here. Let's go with this coral color that I'm so excited about. And let's put it right here in this darkest area. I wanna see some blending. Same amount, I put down four drops. I'm gonna put some alcohol here, and we're gonna blow it this direction. Oh yeah, it blended a lot. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I love those little wispy bits I'm getting there. Oh yeah, that's cool. A little bit on my table, that's fine. Really pretty. I love that layer right there. That's really nice. Okay. But now I want to see some actual coral color. So I'm gonna put a dot here. Maybe bigger than a dot. But let's blow that away from the teal so it doesn't blend so much. down in here and it gets really soft and pink out here very nice okay so let's try this yellow so if I put this yellow on top of the teal I'll get some green here and then I can blow do another drop and blow some yellow this way that sounds like a good plan oop and I touched it and look what it did there not quite dry okay that's right I'm gonna be going over it with more colors anyway so I'm gonna put that this yellow Right here. Again, I'm putting a good amount. 
and I'm adding a decent amount of alcohol to blow up through that teal so we get that green. Oh yeah. Well, I like that I can turn my page some of my vibrancy of the yellow and got some green. Ah. Now let's just blow straight down here and see if we can dry that off a little bit. Oh, I'm really happy so far. This is very cool. Now, I have a plan for later, so I know that a lot of this is going to change here in the center, so I'm not too worried about it. Mainly I'm trying to build out structure in the background first. Again, I don't have a real plan, but I just want to understand layering and how the, um, the inks move on the page. So I want to create some depth at one point. Okay, Oop, I dropped my lid. Maybe I add in, let's, let's add in some of this blue-violet. We'll put it right here, close to the center. And maybe not quite as much pigment this time. Hello, how are you? I'm good. I'm just doing a little um, experiment with some alcohol links. You guys, come on in and look around. Fantastic, thank you. Are you, um, you guys locals? Are you visiting? What are you do? What's happening? We are visiting and buying, so we are not locals. Oh, but soon, soon to be locals. Awesome. Where from? So she's originally from Turkey. Oh yeah, awesome. I'm originally from Montana, but we live in Colorado right now. Nice, awesome. Yeah. Let me turn off my camera. Sorry, it looks like you got stuff going on, please. No, 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 no. Okay, quick little break while some customers came in. Yay, I love it when that happens. All right, so what am I going to do now? What do I want to do with this? I'm really happy with the motion that I'm getting here. Some really interesting blending that's happening, so I'm getting really good colors. I've lost most of this coral color, so I think I'm gonna re-blow this area. I'm gonna put it right here in the purple and blow it out and maybe get a different color um, intensity there. That was the yellow, where's the, nope, nope, nope. Where's the coral? It's the golden yellow. Oh, it's all the way over here, there we go. Yes, the coral. All right, let's put it right here. Put a good amount, a couple of drops. Alcohol around it. And let's blow that out and see what we get. That's pretty. Now I almost don't want to disturb this. I think that's really nice. Um, but I still want to play around with a little bit more layering. I wonder what happens if I layer the same color on top of the same color. Let's put a, just one drop of that teal. A little bit of alcohol around it. Let's go right over top of what we had here. Now 
This little puffer tool is amazing. It's very easy to control the direction that it moves. Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh, pretty. I love the green that I'm getting in here. Let's put a little more, I want more of that purple there. Now I'm gonna go back to the coral. I'm gonna put some more coral over here. Let's blend it with the, the teal and the purple. It's kind of got gray here. So I want to um, see if we can get a different color intensity in that. Nope, it still wants to go gray. That's okay. Learning process. Oh, wow. Love that layering. Wow, so pretty. Okay. What do we want to do here? Let's, I want to go back to the yellow. All of these color intensities are really beautiful, but that yellow is kind of washing out. So I have a feeling that that might continue, but let's put it right here. Put a good amount. Let's see if we can get some more layering amongst that yellow. Ooh, look at that, that was cool. Okay, that was super cool. I think I'm done with this one. I don't wanna mess with it anymore. I love the layering that I got, I love the blending that we got. Great experiment. Okay, let's set up the next one. beginning to understand how this is going to layer and move. So this time I'm going to try around with, try it on a little experiment to see if I can keep some negative space in the center and kind of have the colors radiate out from there. So I'm going to use this little glass that I have, place it somewhere close to the center and on this fresh sheet of Yupo and Let's just stick to the same colors. I liked all those colors, but oh, I wanted to use some of this brass. Right, let's start with some colors first. Let's, again, this teal was a fantastic color, so let's put a little bit of teal here. Oh, look how it's traveling. Interesting. Let's put one on the other side also. Let's go with some of the purple violet color here. Three or four drops on each side. And let's just stick with colors we know blend really well. So we'll, we'll do the, um, the same ones. So we'll put that coral here and here. And then the yellow here. Maybe I should have done these one at a time, but I just really wanted to see how this is going to affect it. I blow from straight up. Oh, wow. <laughs> these colors are going to blend a lot this way. Just go all the way around with some alcohol and move quickly.
look at that. Hmm. Interesting. So let's reanimate this a little bit here. Get some layering going in. way too dark in the center, so I'm going to try and lighten that up and bring some of the color out. Create some layers and depth. I love the way it fingers out like that. That's cool. Oh, I forgot I'm supposed to be talking. Oh my God. <laughs> I get into the flow sometimes and I just forget that I have an audience here that um, I should be talking to. Okay. I'm loving this. This is so much fun. Wow. Look at the great motion it's giving me. Really, really dark, but also some kind of watercolor effects here. I don't like that at all. And I think that's caused by the yellow that I was using. Hmm. What do I want there? I think I've lost a lot of my teal, so let's put some more teal in this spot here. Reanimate that a little bit. And now let's lighten it back up again. ink and some alcohol. Let's blow it towards the camera. Oh yeah. Okay, interesting. realized that my little cup that I was using has some texture to it here on the side so everything was escaping in so I didn't get my white center my negative space center but um, I did keep some lightness here and I was able to use the alcohol to go back in and change the color intensity so it is darker on the outside than it is on the inside so that worked out these little dots. I wonder what happens 
if I just drop a couple little pieces of some dots. I'm not going to move them around, I'm just going to let them spread. Let's just create some different textures maybe. Oh! Cool! And what happens if I blow on that a little? Well, you really have to work fast. That ink dries so quickly. That's cool. That changed everything. Super cool. Sorry about the big trucks going past. I want to break up that darkness right there. I'm going to put a big puddle right there. Break that up. Same thing here. It's too much. And now let's blow them out a little. Very soft little puffs. Just trying to reveal some of the colors from underneath. Oh, that was fun. I love that. Interesting, interesting. Okay. I have another idea. I want to try something else. This is probably crazy, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to... When I... I notice when I put my cup down, the very first puff, it's really splattered all over the place. And now I wonder if I can do that on purpose. Let's see here. I'm going to start with this coral. I'm going to put a big spot of it right here in the middle. And one drop of the Surround that with alcohol. Oh my God, look at that. That is super cool. Okay, let's do that again. Still a lot of alcohol there. Maybe it's gonna kind of reanimate. Put the teal beside it. Surround that with alcohol. Let's blow that out. I keep saying I want to, and I haven't tried the um, the brass yet. Let's try that. I'm gonna put a little bit here, some alcohol, and I'm gonna put the brass on top of it. Four drops, five, and a little more directly on top again. Let's play. Okay, now that moved completely differently than the other inks. That's interesting. I wonder if it's because that's um, got a lot more um, weight to it. It's harder to move those metallics around. Let's, I don't like this. Do you see that? I don't like that. That's weird. So let's fix it. Um, a little more of the purple on it. Let's put it here.
Interesting. That did not, I love the blending of that, but the motion I, I think could be improved. So let's see here. Let me go in a straight line this way. Hola. Momento. Okay, so let's see here. Um, another small interruption. It's beating up on me. It didn't do that in the other ones, and I wonder if that's because of the, um, when I'm blowing it out with my mouth, maybe there's some moisture coming along with my breath. I know I'm not spitting on it, but, <laughs> or at least I hope I'm not, but I'm not a big fan of that beating that's happening with that. So maybe that's not something I should be doing with alcohol inks, and that's okay. So we learned uh, what not to do today, which is great. Okay, so let's see what we can do to fix this. I'm going to, this is the coral. I'm gonna put some more coral down here. And we'll do it right in amongst the brass. Add in some alcohol, and let's just blow that with it. I, I like what's happening with the blower better. It is easier to move that brass around too. I liked the blending from blowing it with my mouth, but everything else was not good. So, um, the housekeepers are here, so I'm probably just gonna continue playing and um, let you watch and I'll put on some music for you so that the, uh, so you don't have to listen to the, the cleaning lady work while I work. It's gonna be a 